Um, geez, I love to be around them. You know, they give you such a pleasure to be around the horses, you know, and it's, it is relaxing. You know, if you have some trouble and it, when you're around horses, you forgot about them. Yeah, at the beginning, I, I thought I'd come here and stay just for a year in Sea Center G for outside Brazil and just fell in love with Ireland and stay. So, at 21 years. When I came to Ireland, I wouldn't speak English, I could not talk. So I, no English in myself, uh, but I came to a really nice yard, uh, Joseph Gui, and you know, I was very happy to come to the right place, you know, and so I did, I, I learned in there. I'm back home, my father was a trainer, I was a jockey before training, you know, so that's where we grow up, you know, with horses, so I'm involved with horses all my life. My father said to me, yeah, go and, you know, explore, explore the world, you know, just go in and see, because I, I said to him, I'll, I'll go back, and go back right here, but um, did not happen, so. I was a jockey back home, and um, one a friend of mine used to walk here in, in County Clare, so I, he called me back home and he said, would you come over to ride the walk here? I said, yeah. I was not riding many, getting many rides down there, you know, it was hard, so I just thought, yeah, come over for a year, and I'm still here. Group one, Keeneland Phoenix, two-year-old stakes, seven runners over six furlongs. Very pleased with the way it has a start for me. Only five horses in training, only 13 runs, 14 runs so far. Being followed in these early stages by Porto Fortuna, and then give me the beat boys, Gainari. The name Gainari is a golden flower in Korea, yeah. So, because the dam called golden flower, so that's, that's where the name came from. Like, it was unbelievable. You know, it's very emotional to have the filly run in there on that day, and um, it was great. She ran well. We were very pleased the way she did run. She's cheated me a lot, you know, the way to train because she's she's not one the easy filly to train. But we're just getting through to know her, and uh, she's improving with that every run. You know, we we really happy for her. Now we got here Mansa Musa. Batting away to the near side is Mansa Musa. This is the horse where we talked to Goodwood. Mansa Musa, Array in the centre, Alaskan gold wider out. He won there for us. Array and Mansa Musa, they hit the line, it's close. Array and Mansa Musa, not much in it, Alaskan Dole back in third. Uh, he's the one we, we're looking forward to, hopefully we might take him to the British Cup. We were very confident the day we told you we'll go there to, for a good run. You know, it was a hard race, you know, it was a good race. He, he's a nice horse and uh, he puts his head down and, and just beat the favourite just in the line. I feel amazing. Uh, where he can go, I think this horse, we have not seen the best of him yet. And uh, if everything go right, we're tagging to go to the British School for him. I think next year he will be a better horse again. He will improve as, as, with age. My top members back home will be right the winner for my father. I think that was, you know, he passed away a few years ago, but um, that's my great memories, right the winners for my father. Also. And, and really good training to ride for him, you know. You know, from the start where I was in love with horses, there was no way I was going to do any, anything else. It has to be riding a horse or be training in the end or something like that, because I just love horses. I'd say my dad would be very proud. It is emotional talking about him. <laughs> yeah, one second. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. It just was a bit emotional. 